laatste dag dat hier ons huidige dienstontvangst en dienstontvangst gaan wees. Soos jy al nou sien, is die laatste uh, van Mark 5 hier, draag ons al die furniture uit. Uh, in die plek gaan ek kaal dop wees teen maandag. Uh, maandagochtend kom die bouwcontracteurs in, dan begin hulle uitbreek en afbreek um, om, te, om te tek te voorsien vir hierdie wat ons nieuwe tweerhaanse kar afdeling heeft. Hierdie gaan die helft van die showroom vir die tweerhaanse kar afdeling wees en net aan die andere kant van die pad wat huidiglik ons onderste nieuwe kar showroom is, gaan die tweede helft wees van die, van die tweerhaanse kar afdeling. So al hierdie hier hier binnen word uitgebreek, die voorkant van die gebouw word afgebreek, dit word alle shopfrank, uh, ons partenafdeling gaan heel rechts naast en by wat het op is, gaan ons partenafdeling wees. Ons arme partenafdeling trek, gelukkig hierdie mense ook nie, maar al die voorraad trek ons in die tonnel net die achter. Uh, vir die volgende 6 maanden gaan dit in een container wees. Uh, maar ten spuite van dit alles het ons een klompplanne gemaakt, klomp dinge in plek gestel om te verseker dat ons nog steeds al ons kliënte 100% aandag en 100% tevredenheid kan verseker. Um, today is Monday, last time we spoke it was Friday and this area here was still a fully functional service reception. Uh, as of Friday afternoon 4 o'clock until about Saturday afternoon at, at 5 o'clock uh, the whole dealership chipped in and we got this whole area stripped the whole parts department is stripped and all the people that used to work here we currently moved in temporarily to the old top new vehicle showroom and um, I must say everybody put their hand up and, and really chipped in to, to make this a success uh, everything that you see here on Friday afternoon it was still down at the bottom at our uh, service reception area which you just saw was being demolished um, this area is also going to be cut back by about six meters to create more parking for your convenience. Um, currently it's a temporary service department and as the phases of the development goes on we'll also have some more salespeople that joins all the people up here on this floor. Well, the N1 highway is just um, behind the picture. If you look behind my back there's a, currently a wall. That wall, entire wall would be demolished and replaced by glass paneling. Uh, so when you come in the main entrance to the showroom, you'll actually be able to see right the way down to the bottom where we were standing just now. So you'll have a nice panoramic view of all the new cars um, on the dealership floor. Is we do have a problem with customer parking and all this that you're going to see in front here where the Jetta is parked, right back down here will be brand new customer parking. So as you can see from this angle, if you take the pillar on the opposite side there to the pillar over here, that is pretty much going to be the outside shop front uh, of the second half of the pre-owned apartment. Um, and you'll still have three or four sales offices on the inside. That side where the vehicles are at, that's Durban Road. And just on the opposite side of uh, the building on that side is the N1 Highway. So we are situated on the corner of the N1 Highway and Durban Road. Um, that will be the new car showroom shop front that you currently use in an open area that will be all glassed up. Uh, this whole building ceiling will be dropped quite a bit to create a warmer and more accommodating feeling as well. Um, just behind me here, you can see, maybe see the container standing on the side and you can see the tunnel coming up. Previously, all our service customers had to get outside, outside of the service department over there, had to get out of their cars in the rain and the wind and the weather. Um, on our new service, service area, we will have an active service reception where you'll drive your vehicle undercover into the tunnel and the service consultant will come and assist you with your vehicle nicely um, in an undercover environment.